this is my ice farm right now but in this video i will change it to this because right now it is hideous but before we can start building we need materials which is definitely not enough so let us go mine more deep slate nah i'm kidding i'm not gonna mine it by hand i'm actually gonna build a ton of board so we need to craft glass bottles and put it in the bee farm collection system instead of shears so we can have honey blocks to use and another thing we need is coral fans and slabs walls ancient debris pistons observer and we also need redstone and redstone blocks so let us trade with farmers and then trade for redstone with the cleric and it is nighttime right now the villagers are restocking so we should go to trek's home and of course it's morning already <laughs> And we only got 24. And because it was morning already, slimes weren't spawning, so I went home to trade for more redstone. Almost 7 stacks, that should be enough. So all that's left is to craft sticky piston, detector rail, note block, TNT, and grab some sandstone. And in the video, they say to use shroom light, but I think frog light works as well, hopefully. Now all that's left is slime blocks and honey blocks, which is probably not enough. Not enough. Right now, let's just put the glass bottles back in and continue on with our slime. And it's morning once again. Morning once again means slime won't spawn, so I traded with villagers because my farms were overflowing. And I need emerald for my next project. And in just one day with the farmers, I got this much green stuff. And it's nighttime once again, which also means slime time. Haha, <laughs> this is gonna be more than enough. But the slowest item. <laughs> <laughs> because there was still not enough honey i smelted more sand to craft more bottles and mine more deep slate until finally oh -ho. guys right now it's morning but it's raining so my bees aren't working hey. i'm going afk and finally this should be enough but the only way to truly find out is to build the machine all right guys now if i have done everything right the machine is going to I think I did something wrong. Alright, let's try again. Still not working. Wait, I noticed that every time I used the machine, it would move forward one block. So I built the machine all over again. Hopefully it works this time. Ooh! Ooh! I thought, I thought it wasn't gonna work. Wait, 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 wait. Again, again, again. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, music to my ears. And after this, I spent four hours tunneling through and collecting deep slate. And in four hours, I almost got two double chests worth of deep slate and 16 choco boxes of cobble deep slate, which should be enough. And these are all the ores I got. But that doesn't matter because in this project, we don't need ores. What we need is verdant frog light, which we have about two stacks and a bit. If it's not enough, we'll just AFK for more. And the last main material of an ice castle is of course ice. And that's how much we get from one harvest. But while we wait for the water to freeze up again, we should get started on the castle by placing the outline. And the outline is done, but you can't really see it because of the snow. But it's okay, so let's just move on to the next step. And that step is just to build up the towers, but there was a problem. I think doing it this way is okay, but it's too slow. So let's change the haze effect to speed. Yes, just like this. Now we've got the shape of the tower but it's too bland, too smooth so it's time for the frog light and the ice. Firstly, I replaced the base with blue ice and the corner to blue ice as well and then frog lights on the sides of the tower then an ice ring around the tower then frog light again but in a straight line ice on the corner again but this time it's packed ice then I went to get more ice from the farm because judging from the amount that I've used already I might need to mine a whole iceberg in order to finish this build but after collecting the ice again I built another ice ring and I built a dome roof at the top. Now the tower is almost 100% complete but I'm still missing 2 to 3 items and one one of them is warp stems so let's chop it down and now that we have warp stems the next item we need is nether brick fence and we also need honeycomb in order to craft candles so let's grab it and the last item that we need is iron bars warp stems for the windows and everything else for the roof now the tower is 100% complete but i still have to do this seven more times so i hurried and built seven actually i can't even build one more because i ran out of frog lights and this is all the ice that i have left so let's destroy nature by mining the ice and afk at the frog light farm which got us over a choco box in 50 minutes and in two and a half hours this is how much ice we got it's definitely not enough but let's see how far it gets us The third tower is done and this is how much packed ice we have left because I crafted most of them into blue ice. But I don't want to mine ice here anymore so let's go find a frozen ocean. And all that's left of that iceberg is three blocks of snow. <laughs> and this is how much ice we got from one whole iceberg. I really hope that's enough because I don't want to mine anymore. <laughs>
and all the eight towers are done eight towers eight hours and the next step is to build the walls to connect all the towers together Walls are done, door is done, so the next step is floor. Which for the floor, I'm going to be using grass and moss. Rock lights to prevent mobs from spawning, grass block next to it, and moss carpet on top to give the grass a manicured look. Now that the floor is done, the next step is to terraform because the castle is floating. So I started by building a stairway to the castle, then a tower to support the stairs. Actually two. Then I started building ice spikes around the castle. At first I was going to build with ice from the floor to the castle, but all the ice that I have left is two shuckle boxes, so I'm going to use snow blocks instead. And after 5 nearly broken shovels, I got nearly 5 shuckle boxes of snow. Probably not enough, but let's use it to gauge how much we actually need. And with almost 5 sugar boxes, it got us to about 70% finish. But we're not gonna go get snow from the golem anymore because we have a bunch of snow under the mountain that we just created. And we got 4 sugar boxes of snow already, so let us get this snow mountain done with. And the last thing we need to do is extend the snow into the forest because it would look weird if it just ended here. But placing it all by hand would be too slow so I'm going to use the snow golem to help as well. And now the tower is complete! But before the video ends, I have to confess, I didn't build this castle by myself. I built it with the help of... He showed up when I was building the second tower, and from then on, he's always been helping me. When I was mining more ice, he helped me. When I mined more ice again, he helped me. Even when he was exhausted. When a zombie tried to sneak up on me, he warned me. When I locked myself up due to stress, he gave me moral support. Or I would just say I'm king to let the grass grow. Actually, never mind. For all the time that I spent building this castle, he's my friend. So I decided to let him live in this castle. But I almost hurt my own friend. He has a wife, and I almost separated them. When I was building the floor, I almost trapped his wife under the castle. Guilt flowed through my entire body like blood, so I decided to give them this castle.